having you on board. Hope to see you again soon. Push me. Two, one, and two, three, three. Home sweet home, it feels so good to be back. What up homie, JR here. Welcome to YFH TV and welcome back to a brand new gig log. I am back home in Maine. I'm actually in Sebago, Maine right now. I just flew from Nashville where I'm currently living this morning all the way out here, got off a plane, had to run over to some Ravex store and pick up a bunch of DJ gear that the groom is renting from a buddy. Disclaimer, I'm doing this gig right now with none of my own gear. I take that back. I actually do have a little bit of my own gear. I brought my SX2, checked that at baggage claim and kind of just crossed my fingers that it would actually make it here. It did. I've done a quick sound check. Everything seems to be okay. And oh yeah, so this wedding is for my cousin Sarah, which also explains why I don't have a single song yet to play. I don't have the first dance. I don't have the father-daughter, the mother-son, any of that stuff. I don't know what their entrance song is going to be, but I hear they've been practicing a really cool entrance. The wedding is legitimately tomorrow. So I hope at some point I'm able to get this music from her uh, at least so I can have the time to prepare it and be ready to play it. This is gonna be a whirlwind. I do not know what to expect with this. My family's involved, so it's gonna be kind of crazy. So strap in your seat belts and let's do this. Ah! All right, so I told you, this is bare bones minimum. I didn't really know what to expect or what I'm even gonna rock with, but let's see. We do have a QSC KW series sub. That thing thumps. We have two LTD tops up here. Um, and then I think just another top and a stand for outside. But I don't even know if that stand works. Yeah, these, these gotta be cleaned up. One of the cool things about this trip is my cousin Sarah is letting me just whip her Jeep around. This thing is badass, dude. Look at these wheels. This thing is crazy driving around. All right, so here we are, day two, getting back to the venue. Everything is set up, everything is ready to roll. I finally got my ceremony music last night from Sarah and her crew, so thanks for that. That should make things run a little bit more smoothly here. I just, I can't, I can't get over just how gorgeous this venue is. All right, so it seems like everything is locked, loaded, set up, fail-proof. Everything should go smoothly. What I need to do now is change my clothes. So for my next magic trick, that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. All right, so yeah, I think, uh, got a sticker on here still. I think touch up the hair a little bit and I'll be ready to roll. What do you think? Feeling pretty good. Picked up these clothes today, specifically for the wedding. I don't know, I'm feeling it. To not take life too seriously, to laugh until the tears run down your leg, and to always remember what's most important. <laughs> Usually takes a second there. <laughs> All right, so the great news is ceremony went off without a hitch. If, uh, if you DJ weddings regularly, once you kind of get through that part, everything else is kind of smooth sailing. So if you can nail the ceremony, they're definitely going to remember that, probably even more than the reception, because let's be honest, at the reception, it's going down for real. So I got to jet back over here into this barn, set up cocktail hour. We're doing just some kind of jazzy kind of music in the background lightly, let them mingle all that jazz, and no pun intended. And then it's time to party. So let's do this. Window lighting is major key. All right, so here's the thing. 10 minutes before we're gonna do introductions for the groomsmen and bridesmaids and then eventually the newlyweds, they all decide that they want custom intro songs. Mind you, if you've been sticking around in this vlog, I didn't get any of the music that I was supposed to play for the ceremony even until last night. 
So last minute, they're all rushing in here with custom song requests, and I'm gonna try to accommodate everybody because that's what a professional does. Let's try to pull this off. This is getting nerve wracking. We have everybody's special entrance song, okay? And I have them all queued up with my hot cues to a certain part in the song. This, this should go good, let's see. All right, you didn't see it, but the introductions went off without a hitch. Uh, wound up last second, scrambling, making all that work. Update is, uh, everyone's having dinner right now, okay? After dinner, there's gonna be some speeches. Now, after the speeches, we're gonna open up the floor, finally, which is the best part, right? That's where I feel most comfortable. That's where I'm ready to rock and roll. For the speeches, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab the setup I was using for the ceremony, and I'm gonna bring that outside in the tent, set that up, so they can do speeches out there rather than cranking the hell out of my system inside the barn. Uh, so far, the speakers are sounding okay. I was a little bit nervous about that, honestly, because they're not mine. So far, so good. Let's just hope that continues. So I'm gonna grab this stuff right here. I'm gonna try to set up uh, a quick little wireless mic out there for the toast, and uh, let's hope that goes good. Three, two, one. That is gonna work just fine, my friend. That is gonna work just fine. I just did a check. Way out here where the speeches are actually gonna take place. And uh, yeah, this is gonna work. Just this little setup right here. We love you both. And Sarah, I'm no weatherman, but you're definitely getting a few inches. <laughs> It led me to one of the best friendships and most genuine friendships I've ever held close and dear to my heart. To Andrew and Sarah. <laughs>
So, homies, I'm here with my cousin Sarah and Andrew, the newlyweds. What a crazy party. This yeah. was so much fun. First off, thank you both for having me come thank out you. here. Fucking fly thank me you. in. Thank you. Yeah, this was super cool, DJing your wedding, something that I didn't see coming, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but, I didn't uh, see coming, but we can't Yeah, do. but I'm glad it did. Uh, things things were kind of crazy. Things were last minute, but I wouldn't expect anything less from you or anybody in our family. <laughs> no. But I think at the end of the night, everything went super good. What do you it think? It went awesome. It went perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Everything was perfect. I don't know how, but you really killed the last yeah. minute shit. Woo! Woo. Killed I, I, I get super anxious. You'll see at the beginning of this vlog, I'm like, guys, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, how we're going to make this work. But by the grace of God and whatever, we're going to do it. But yeah, True. congratulations to you two. Thanks again for so much for having me. And let's wrap up this vlog because I... I am B. Thank you. I'll tell you one of the things I missed about Maine the most. Drinking water out of the faucet. Let's go. <laughs> Guess what showed up today?